It says, has a big arrow, it says you're live. Maybe, maybe it's a really long de delay. Huh? Okay, all right, we're live. So I'm not going to hit any buttons and stop it. All right, hopefully everything's good. All right, Kent, that was a really long delay. I wonder what happened. Um, so I will wait. It, somebody in the chat say hi that we're, we're actually working. The microphone's working. All of it's all good. Hi, West Virginia. Dennis, how you doing? All right, I'll give, give it a few seconds to, or a minute or two to catch up. All right, and hopefully we're all good, right? Uh, howdy, Jeff. How are you doing? Are we... Bonnie, hi. Are, so are we actually live? Everything's working good? Okay, okay. I'm going to stop stalling then. All right, all right. Uh, so today I'm going to do a lidded box and so we had a show last weekend and there were uh, some questions about the, the urn threaded rings and so I, and I had to explain it every time on how to do it. So we're going to make a di uh, display piece. Rob and I talked about this on the way home. So it was like we're going to make a display piece to show you. So. I'm going to do that today. I'm going to make a display piece using the, the bronze threaded rings and I'm going to do a small lidded box, but I'm going to recess the rings into it so there's not as many threads on it. So I will switch cameras here in a, a second and explain the whole thing or explain it to you what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. All right. All right. So we're all good. We are ready to go. We can get, get this thing kicked off. Hey, Bruce. How you doing, Rob? How's it going? All right. Hey, Mark. All right. Switch cameras here. All right. So, so we had the show last weekend, <clears throat> and we had a couple little little boxes and and urns with the uh, threaded rings in them. But if you were the and the reason we we made them like this is because they were you know basically designed for urns. So you want. A lot of threads on it so that it seals up nice I, you know I've seen some little teeny plastic ones that just have a couple of threads or even some some uh, ones like ours but they only have like one or two turns on them and if you're making an urn you want a, a lot of threads so it seals so that's why we designed them that way but if you're just making a lidded box or something small like a pill box it to get it screw it back on it's a lot of threads so we're, we're going to show you how to fix that if you want to make just a small lidded box. So all you have to do is recess this down in there further. And that way you'll only have a couple of turns before the wood comes together. So that's all you need to do is recess it in there. But we needed a, a display piece to show that. So that is what I am going to do today out of this beautiful piece of maple. So, all right. Don't put oil on it. <laughs> uh, ja Jamie, I won't, I'll try not to put oil on the rings, but we figured out how to fix it if we do. All right. So I'll tell you that too here in a second when we get to that point. All right. Let's go ahead and find center on here. And then we can get it put up in between centers. All right, I think this block is actually really close. It's perfect. All right, how is everybody doing today? Is everybody doing well? And man, they're getting some crazy weather back east from us. But yeah, we're we woke up to to snow this morning, which is crazy for the end of March. Yeah, we had, had about an inch, nothing, nothing major, but it's just weird to be this cold this time of year. Oh, one other thing, too, since 
we're, since we're here and we're live, the last video we did was how to line up your head and tail stock. And we did have um, a couple other great suggestions. And one of them was to make sure that your Morris taper was clean. So if even your spur center or your live center, make sure that these are clean and on the inside of that. Um, you can, it, they do make tools for it. Um, I, I usually take a paper towel, squirt it down with WD-40 and, and then just like kind of crank it in there to clean mine out, but they do make a tool that goes inside there. So it could be something as simple as that where it's not letting it go slide, slide in perfect too. So in re reference to lining your head and your tail stock up. All right. So we're going to put this on here, crank it down, and then we're going to turn turn this into a cylinder, and then we'll part it in half so we can make the, the base and the lid out of this. Yeah, we had a had a great time at the show. It was it was fantastic at the, the local wood turning symposium here, and it was only about an hour and a half away, which was really nice. All right. All right, so I'm just gonna true this up real quick with a roughing gouge, and then we'll then we'll move on. And I have the lathe speed set at uh, 2,000. Oh, and I did forget. Hang on, a hang on a sec. Oh. Hi, I'm back. <laughs> I did forget. If this is your first time here, uh, Rob, my wife Robin is on the phone with me. So if you have any questions, leave them in the chat and she will relay them to me and I will answer them. So even if it's while I'm turning, I don't have a problem stopping or talking while I turn anything. So so just put them in the, in the chat and I will get to them. All right. Hey, Jake and Karen, how you guys doing? Jeff wants to know, uh, Jeff Edwards wants to know if we're going to be at SWAT. Jeff, or I'm back. We would not miss SWAT for anything. We will be there. Absolutely. Hopefully you can make it this time, but we will be there. We, we love SWAT. It's awesome symposium. So we'll, we'll be there. We're going to be at the AAW in Kentucky here in June. And then we will, we will be at the SWAT Symposium at the end of August in Waco, Texas. Oh, that's awesome, man. What, what lathe did you get? Thank you, Karen. All right, have it trued up here. So I'm going to do it. It's going to be a smaller, smaller box. Um, but only, I'm only doing a smaller box for one reason is because we ordered the two and a half from our machinist in Missouri on before we left for the show and he mailed them. They were supposed to be here Wednesday, like th three, four days ago, Wednesday, and the post office decided to send them to Florida. So they've been sitting in Florida for a couple of days and they finally figured out that Oregon's on the other side of the country and they just made it to Portland today. So we'll have them on Monday, but we're going to do a smaller box that's the reason why is because we I don't have a two and a half inch right now we were filling orders for them and and I go I don't know what to do <laughs> just I was hoping they were going to be here but anyway we're doing a smaller box all right and a cornet herald that's nice I think Jamie has the same one right all right so I'm going to go ahead and part this off. I'm going to come in about right there, 
right about there and part it off. Drop the tool rest down. Uh, it's uh, it's Louisville, Louisville, Kentucky. Yep. Yeah, Easywood is in Lexington, and it's in Louisville. Yeah. Yep. All right. Let me go ahead and and uh, part that off. I'm going to shape this a lot different than just a cylinder because it, the ring is a lot smaller. So I'm going to going to actually give it give it some shape. Once we get going here. Got that set. Now I'm going to put a tenon down on on each end, and so that we can grab it in the chuck. Move this up a little bit. in half. Yeah, Andrew uh, is going to get an easy wood parting tool. Yeah, it's um, they are super slick and and thin too and the way the cutter is on it, they're wider at the very tip here than they are in the in the back and the, the holder here. Um, so that you don't have to take like a relief cut with it. So you can actually just, like I did, I just plunge straight in with it, with it. So that's, it's actually really nice. All right. All right. Now we will... So there we go. We got a tenon on each end. We can grab it in the chuck now and start start shaping it. Yeah, the beading tools are really nice too. They're they're uh, they make it super easy to do to do beads. Yeah, and they uh, I yeah I'm not sure if you're talking about the Easywood ones or the. The easy wood ones, yeah, yeah, they work, work great, yeah, and they just, yeah, just came out with those. All right, switch jaws here real quick. Is is Jamie still there? Did did Jamie? Did you ever figure out what Vicky was talking about? When did we have a a gyro or whatever you were? We're saying <laughs> a case of di case of deal of you. Tamale? Oh, was it a tamale? I don't remember having tamales either. I think Vicky, Vicky's right. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and get this out of the way here. And we will come around here. All right, I'll give you a different cam camera angle for a minute. Do, 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 do. All right, let's try try that one. Oh, nice, Mark. <laughs> oh, yeah, they they are uh, super slick. Oh. All 
I just, I don't remember ever, I mean, I think all we fed you guys when you were here were pancakes. I don't, I don't remember anything else. Um, all right, hang on, I forgot to, uh, let me, let me switch cameras back here for a sec. I forgot to make the, the tenon on it real quick, or the mark for the, this. I don't want to bring it down too far. All right. I just, I'm going to start shaping it, and I don't want to go too far in with it, so. Oh, Donna, Robin's sister, of course she made burritos for us, or whatever it was. Oh, that's right. Jamie, you and your memory, it's crazy. All right. Forgot all about taking you to meet the family. All right. If, if Vicky's out there, tell her she's wrong. We were all wrong. All I remember is the really big cookie up at Multnomah Falls. Jamie bought like an eight pound cookie. Yeah. Yeah, the easy wood uh, beating tools, Andrew. Yeah, yeah, they are, they are great. Yeah, and it's so, you know, you don't have to, I use the D-Way ones too, and it's, you know, there's, there's a learning curve with those, but yeah, the easy wood ones, it's like, just hold it straight up there and you're good to go. All right, there we go. So that is the shape I'm looking for for the bottom. I think I am going to bring it down a little bit further because that inside line there is what I want. And that's pretty thick right there. So I'm going to bring it down a little bit more. And I'll give you a top view here. Oh, yeah. Robin, Robin told me to mention the fact that the box on the thumbnail for the video for the live isn't what I'm doing. I'm just, I didn't have another picture of a box that looked like this, so I figured it was close enough, right? This box right here is the one we're doing. We'll change it as soon as we get done here. Yeah, the one that's up there on the thumbnail was for uh, Beads of Courage it did a, did a few years ago. False, yes, false advertising. It's clickbait. <laughs> All right. Now, I'll give me a second here. I'll come over here. Boom. Yeah, Rob, I I love turning boxes. That's how I got started was was boxes. I just I don't know. I just I love the fact that, you know, every one of them's different. You learn a bunch of different things, you know, whether it's the spindle part, the hollowing part, you learn all of it while you're doing it. So I love love turning boxes. Always have Oh, Jamie, just because he was right about the tortillas. Okay. 
Now we're going to go ahead and so that I put two lines in there, but the inside one is the one that the one that actually is the diameter. Come down and we're going to recess. The base is going to be normal. And so Robin and I were talking about that, too. Because you don't want to recess the base in there very far because when it's when they're in pieces here so this is i'm going to put this in the in the base but you have that the bronze that ring would be around it and if you recess it down in there there would be a, you know a gap kind of like a little lip in there but i don't think that would look good so we kind of talked about ways to fill that in if we if we did have to do it that way if you wanted a small lid but we're not doing it on this one i'm just going to recess the lid in there further than than you really need to. So. Uh, yes, that, that mark, that was the number one hall R. Yep. And yeah, it's, it's uh, that one right there. CI5 is what it says. Almost. So I'm going to clean up the face of it here real quick to get rid of that little little line there too. And then when we're done here, I'm going to go trip my, trim my fingernails. Wow. Huh. Robert? Yeah, I missed, missed that. So... And so when you're using the, the threaded rings too, it, you know, do a, a little bit of a back cut there, you know, come back in a little bit, just so you make sure that it, it, it seats under it. Cause you don't want to be done and have it thread together and have them, you know, have a gap there. A little bit more. And I don't know if, if everybody saw it, but Jamie did a, Jamie did a pill box the other day. It was super cool. Yes, yes, Rob. The I, yeah, I actually I got two of these. One, I have the standard one on, and one I put the negative rake on, and I, I love it. Right. Can you order the tool rest from Niles? Actually, I, I would just go through Robust with that. We don't we don't have them in stock or anything. I mean, I, I can place the order for you, but it, it's probably just easier just to go, go straight to their, their website. So it was, it was, it was a little bit proud. So with, with, you know, sanding that up, it's under there. Just, let me see. So I just put it under there just a bit. So but we'll get, once you get the epoxy and everything in there, it'll be, be perfect. And then with sanding that little lip and that will bring it down a little bit too. So. All right. Oh, thank you, Andrew. Yeah, yeah, they they kind of just simplify, especially, you know, making urns and, and stuff like that. They, they work great. Uh, Rob, where are the threaded ring from? We, we sell them on Niles. You can only get them from us. Yeah, we have an inch and a half. Um, what do we have? Inch and a half, two and a half, and three and a half. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and keep hollowing this out, and then we'll, we'll get 
get that out. Which camera am I on? Okay, I'll just stay on that one for a little bit. And then bump the speed up to about 2,500 RPMs. Oh, hey, Matt, how you doing? <laughs> so, did, did you like, like the rings? Did they work out for you? Need to grab the uh, air air hose. Do, 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 do. Hey Doug, how's it going? All right, there we go. That we'll keep it clean. So being kind of. Hopefully you can see that. So I left just, there's just a little lip in there so that when you, when you put them in there, it sits right down on that lip. You kind of want to, don't, you don't make it very big. It doesn't have to be, you know, sticking out at all. So when, when you feel down in there, you, you can't even, that lip isn't sticking into the void. So it should. Oh, nice, man. That's awesome. Hopefully. Uh, Don uh, asked if we could ship to Canada. Absolutely. We, we ship to Canada all the time. So, yeah, we, sh we actually ship worldwide. So, yeah, we ship Canada, the UK quite a bit, Germany a lot. We even shipped some stuff to Hungary couple of months ago. Hey James, how you doing? the wall thickness so I'm right about down in in here so I'll just keep working my way down so if you were making like a bigger vessel too that that came out around here you can just use like uh do 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 like a hook tool like that and come around and get get back up you know if it were larger get back up in there but with this one I don't need to I can I can bring it down with that number one hollower Oh, thank you, Andrew. Appreciate it. We will get them shipped out first thing Monday. Better to just stop, clean out the shavings, and check the wall thickness as you're going. So, so you don't end up with a big hole in the side, trying to figure out how to fix that. All right, now we're down a little bit further. 
I'm going to check the depth here real quick. All right, so I am, am right down pretty close to the actual depth. So I could go a teeny bit further because I am going to bring this around, but, but not much. So I'm just going to work on the wall thickness here is pretty good, but I'm going to work on it. I can feel it there. It's, it's thick, so I'm going to work on that. Now there's a little spot there in the center, like a little little point. And so, like with the tool, you just kind of put it in there and you can feel it, it, it just kind of tries to catch it. So you can feel it rock back and forth and it will just kind of get underneath it. So what I'm doing in there is I'm going like this. Uh, can you see that? So it's the tools like level like that. And I'm just kind of going up and down like that, trying to get underneath that little nipple that's in the, in the bottom of it. And you can feel it when it, when it catches and then you just pull, pull up on it and it will get rid of it. And then it will start running true like that. It's going straight in now. There you go. everybody doing everybody having a good weekend still go Kirsten eight inches of snow Kirsten wow yeah what eight to ten inches wow that's not not for this time of year yeah we got just about an inch and it's all gone now Robin is, is chuckling. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's been just a crazy winter. We got and we've got more snow this year than in yeah, probably twenty years. It's nuts. And it's just freezing cold here too. It's not normally like that. All right, I got a little spot, not a little spot, but I mean, it's it's thick right there, so I'm gonna keep, go, keep going down. Seventy degrees. Wow. The way it's going, it'll be June before it's 70 here. Four inches in Minnesota. Yeah. All right. All right. We're going to call it. Eighty degrees. Henry, now you're just bragging. <laughs> uh, 
77 in Florida. Yeah. Wow. All right. All right. I'm going to bring that around just a little bit more, and then I'm, I'm going to go ahead and sand it up. Yeah, we we had the daffodils bloomed last week, and then we woke up this morning. They were all laying laying down from the snow on them. Yeah. Eighty in Houston. speed down I'll go ahead and hit it with a couple of grits and then we'll then we'll switch over and and uh, or we'll go ahead and take it off and then then clean out the inside of it or not clean out the inside of it take the bottom off I'm just gonna do probably one grit and I'll switch to the oil Oh no, Henry. That was it in Mississippi. Yeah, I heard we heard about that. It was horrible. Yeah. Right? Oh that's yeah. Yeah, we saw that on the news. That's that's tough. Yeah. Uh, Karen, yes, we are going to Louisville. Yep. Yeah, we'll be there, uh, I think it's June, what is it, June 1st through the 4th or something like that? Yeah. They, for the, yeah, for the AEW Symposium. <sighs> All right. Now I'm going to switch to the oil. That's it. You're about to see it, but it just has some beautiful burl on it. Yeah. Nice. And it will... all darken up. Yeah, Karen, that would, that would be awesome. Yeah, we'll be there. We'll be there in the Niles booth at the show. So. Yeah, and Easy Wood Tools is, gonna, uh, is right next door, right next to us. Right, we kind of got like a a double booth, so it's gonna be gonna be awesome. Yeah, look at that. I can, hopefully you can see that. Just gorgeous. Just nice deep dark burl there and then uh, there's some light spots right here where it's just straight grain kind of cool yeah yeah well, this would be a good di good display piece Anita and Connie you guys need to come down it's gonna it's gonna be fun Yeah, the grain. Yeah, it's man, it's it's crazy. You can yeah, you can see that. It's just insane how it just stops like that. I mean, just from the dark to the light, and it's it's not the oil or anything. That's just natural. That light spot in it that is cool. Yeah, really cool. 
All right. So I'm just running through the grits with the doctor's walnut oil. And we'll just keep going up and then we'll, then we'll turn it around, get the bottom off. And then we can work on the lid. Lou, it's pronounced Louville. Louville. Is that Doug? Oh, okay, Doug Miller. Okay, I thought it was the other Doug. From Easy Wood. And he's correct. <laughs> it's so what how is it pronounced? Louvel. Okay, Doug, you gotta give us a break though, because everybody calls this Oregon. And it's 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 Oregon. J just Oregon. Not Ori not Oregon. 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 So Louisville. All right, all right. All right. Oh, what was that? That was okay. Okay. All right. See, now I'm confused. There's other pronunciations. Pronunci pronunciations. Oh yeah, the oh Robin, Robin mentioned the wood. We got this uh, piece from, uh, uh, to, oh, what was it? Oh, now I can't think of it. It's um, I knew what it was a second ago, and you, you threw me off. Um, beside us at the show was um, oh, hang on a sec, hang on. It's stamped on all their wood, except that piece, huh? Uh, Northside, Northside, uh, Northwoods. Yes. N yes, it's Northwood, Northwoods. Uh, I can Northwoods something. But yeah, they're they're right up here by us, and they were at the show. It's Northwoods figured woods, and they are up here. Right by us. They were actually it's like about five miles away, and then they they moved out a little further. But yeah. Robin says I'm freezing in the video chat. Is that true with everybody? Oh, I spilled stuff on the bed. Yes, I did. And luckily, it's a robust with stainless steel bedways. <laughs> and it doesn't matter. You can spill water all over it. Water, and it won't, uh, won't rust. All right, there we go. That's 600 there. Oh, my, it drove up. Yeah, nice, nice. That's awesome. All right. So, that is... Robin, Robin said hers is the only one that's freezing. The, the, vid, the videos. Oh, okay. All right. You're 20 feet away, and it's the one that's freezing. <laughs> All right. It's the weather. Yeah, it's too cold here. All right. Yeah, it's just beautiful. Beautiful. Love that. All right. Let's go ahead and change the jaws. We're going to put in our little teeny uh, uh, pin jaws. And then we will turn it around and get rid of the bottom. Hey, Joey. How's it going? Totally non-related to the live stream, Joey. We we need to chat. We need we need more stuff. Are you are you busy? Because <laughs> we need we need stuff for the show in June. 
yeah, we we uh, so we did the show and we took notes the whole time. And there are a few items that we uh, want to acqu acquire from you, if if possible. Joey, if you don't know, makes the awesome these awesome displays and things. Makes lots of awesome stuff, but. Yeah, we got so many compliments again. They they love the displays. They're all laser cut. They're they're sweet. Yeah. Yes, Anna, it's it's super handy. <laughs> Great chuck. Good morning, Australia. How are you doing? All right, I'm going to put, so I expanded the jaws just a little bit, put a little bit of pressure on it, not much, and we'll go ahead and get the, get the bottom off here. Did Joey ignore, say anything, or did he d ignore you? He said, hello, I, maybe he's busy. Joey, we need your, Joey, we need you. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm just gonna come around the bottom here like a little pot. Nice. Thank you, Joey. They love them. And Rob, Rob and I just talked about that too. We need some of your business cards because there were quite a few people asking, you know, like detailed questions about them. They want, I think they would give you a call and and uh, make you more busy. Yeah, even one of the vendors came up and, and that was there and said that the booth just looks amazing and so professional, which was really nice. It was, you know, one of the vendors. We love them. All right. Joey, don't listen to Jake. He's a troublemaker. Like Jamie and his tortillas. All right, so I'm just cupping the up in the bottom out just a little bit. Okay. And all right, and then I'm going to use so somebody at the show asked me about this this tip too compared to the regular detailer and so I said you know just in comparison th that one is like a number two pencil and this is like a needle so you can really get in there to to do some detail work so I'm going to bring down that little little nub right there with this so we still have some support there Oh yeah, yeah, Joey, yes, we need cards. All right, now we're going to Joey, Jake has a bad influence on, influence on everybody. So don't feel like you're singled out. <laughs> Just gonna little bit of pressure here, like in the center. You know, I'm pushing straight in, but the further you get out on the side, that's when when it's putting a lot of torque on the side. So just take nice little cuts with it.
Hello, Broom. How are you doing? All right. All right. There we go. Same thing. I'm going to run through one grit uh, dry and then. Oh, right. Liz. Yeah. Yep. All right. And then switch over to the. Turn the lay speed down. Doo -doo. Another another tool to buy. There's always another tool <laughs> tool to buy, right? But you can do all of this with pretty much whatever you have actually. It's Nice, nice. Yeah, it is kind of, you know, another tool to buy, but it's it's really depends on like what you're doing. You know, like if you're just turning pins, you only really need a couple of tools, you know, and even like if you're just doing bowls, you only need a couple of tools. There's not a whole lot to it. So it kind of depends on what what you like to turn, you know. I, I guess we do a variety of stuff, so that's kind of why I have so many. The wood is maple burl, big leaf maple burl. I'm just kind of smoothing out that that transition right there. Yes, Scott, the easy wood does have the sharper ones. It's the uh, I, I want to say it's like the micro fine detailer is what it's called. They've had it out for, I don't know, a couple of years at least. All right, now we'll switch to the to the oil, and I'm just going to use the same sandpaper I just had up that I went through before, and we'll go right through them. So, and so what I do with this, this one's already sanded up to 600. So, but I'm starting back over. So I, I just kind of sand up, you know, like right in here where I was. And then I just, each grit, I just slowly work my way back up to, to where it's 600 again there. So. No, I haven't made the, Robin asked me if I made the lid yet. Can you guys maybe defend me a little bit in the chat? Because Robin said, you remember when you said I should be able to get it done in an hour? She goes, you got seven minutes. <laughs> huh. I am being heckled right here from my lovely wife. Robin, not cool. I expect that from other people, but no. Oh, yeah, well, and it took me a long time to get up, <laughs> get up here. Yeah, yeah. There's a uh, guy at the at the symposium. He goes, "I started watching you when you were using that squeaky Delta, and you kept squirting WD-40 on it to, to keep it going." <laughs> yeah, it's it's been a long road. Jake, see, huh? You can't rush art. Oh, nice hollowing system. Yeah, they're they're sweet, especially for doing like deep stuff where you you know you can't see and. Yeah. Uh, 
Oh, Joey, good eye, Joey. L luckily, there there was a Costco not too far away, and we picked up some more. That's all we go to Costco for is the quiche and paper towels. We get these quiche things for breakfast. <laughs> there you go, Jake. The wood sand saying it wants to take longer. It yeah. Saying just just relax, Robin, it's gonna be an hour and a half. <laughs> Okay. All right, we got. All right, we got. All right. There we go. Now we're back up to six. And I dropped one of them on the floor over there. Uh, yes, Robin asked me if I need more. I do, but they're in. They're actually in here. So, you don't don't need to throw them at me throw them like really hard that was her favorite part on twitch trying to hit me in the head with sh shop towels all right hang on everybody take five two 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 two, two. Ooh, ooh. all right got it This live stream is brought to you by Scott's. Scott Shop Towels. Only available at Costco. They are they are actually really nice and they they don't scratch up like resin stuff. So that's good. See that paper towel holder? You see that? That's custom. I built that. 15 years ago, and it's still working. Taquitos, ooh, nice. With ketchup, extra ketchup on them. Joey, I don't understand why everybody picks on you about ketchup. Ketchup makes everything better. I even like ketchup on steak. I mean, really, what is what is steak but unground hamburger? Why would you not put ketchup on it? You put ketchup on your hamburger. Look at that. That is just gorgeous. I love that. That's so cool. All right. Now we're going to do the top in six minutes. Two... You put, you put, it, so why is that sad? I, that's what I don't understand because she, we had, oh, at the show, we went out to dinner one night and she had steak or something and it, and she put, she put horseradish on it, which is disgusting. You're okay to put like horseradish on something, but not ketchup. Ketchup tastes good though. All right. Oh, Robin said it was prime rib. Like, that makes a difference. Oh, there was some au jus. <laughs> I don't even know. What, I don't even know what that is. It just sounds like a fancy name for ketchup. <laughs> oh, it's beef broth. Yum. Yum. Robin said it was cooked perfect. I, d I don't know. I, I honestly have had one steak in my entire life that was actually just delicious, period. And uh, it was a French guy, a chef, a friend of my dad's. And he had a little restaurant down on the Oregon coast. It was the weirdest thing. And he was, it was amazing. 
but other than that, I like ketchup. I like ketchup on the hamburgers, hot dogs, steak. All right, there we go. Catch up on everything, right? All right, back to the spindle gouge. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and where'd it go? Boom, boom, boom. There it is. All right. I t Matt, I tasted the horseradish. It, it's not the not. You would have to put a lot of ketchup in it to make that taste good. Oh, it was like oh. I'm not even sure what it's made out of. Okay, I'm just going to bring this down a little bit, and then I'll come in here and I'm going to get that cleaned out first before I switch over. This is the lathe cooking show. We could turn the lathe into like a rotisserie, put like little flame barbecue underneath it. Do, 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 do. Barbecue sauce on a hamburger. <clears throat> yeah, barbecue sauce is good. <clears throat> Robin said, <laughs> I don't know if there's what's going on in the chat, but she said, you can't say you've only liked one steak. I, I like steak fine. It, it's good. I've only had one that was actually just like amazing. And I mean, they're all good. It's fine. It's, but it, to be honest with you, it's me. And I could care less whether it's a corn dog or a prime rib. I just want to fill my belly up and go do something. I, I don't care really what it tastes like. I just want to put some ketchup on it and get it down. Buddy, have a good one, man. All right. All right. Just a little. All right. Do, 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 do. Oh. But, okay. And I'm, I did the same thing on this. I cupped it in just a little bit. kid need to hang out, right? Let me go do something. I don't know. I just, I've, I don't know. It's just always, I've always thought food and food and like, I don't know, expensive clothes were like, they're just the waste of time and money. It's like, I don't even want to like go to a fancy restaurant and sit there for an hour and a half while they you know, 
feed you 14 meals. I'm going to eat a, eat, eat a, <laughs> cook you a little tiny meal. I'm going to eat, eat a hot dog on the way to the movie or whatever. Yeah, and Robin is a foodie. She loves cooking, and and so she takes offense to my. Oh, okay. So we did uh, have we had Indian food the other night. So, um, we and I got to tell you, I had it one time years ago up in Seattle and it was was I don't even know if it was good or bad but it was so hot it was disgusting I hate I hate that is one thing I don't like it's hot food it's like why would the food be so hot you can't even taste it and it doesn't make any sense to me it's just hot and not good but we had Indian food the other day so when they came up go you know what do you want we want, I want whatever the mildest thing on the menu is. No, you know, no spice because they ask you like mild hot or extra hot or crazy hot or I don't know. But I got, uh, what I got, buttered, chi buttered chicken. Oh, it is delicious. It was crazy delicious. It's like, it's like a chicken soup. Or tomato soup. So it's chicken with the... It's, it's almost like a tomato soup, but the tomato soup is just amazing. It is so good. It's not... It ain't your Campbell's. It was awesome. And it wasn't spicy. Ooh. Oh, some olive wood. Oh, that's awesome, Karen. That will be amazing. Yeah, I'd love to see some pictures. Send me, send me some pictures when you get it done. Yeah, we'll put it on the gallery page. Okay. So, uh, let's switch. Oh. What tool is that? That's a, just a regular parting tool. Mark. Where we at? Right there, just a regular, regular parting tool. So, when you're doing something, something small like that, it's so this one it comes in, and especially when it gets the small diameter, the the square cutter will hit on that the the bottom of the tool. So you can't actually go straight in because as it's going in, this is hitting the side of it. So you switch over to right, reg, just regular gouge parting tool and the tip comes out there so far that it it won't hit but with the like the easy wood parting tool it's wider it'll hit too so you got to switch to something like that and then you can just use the edge of it to just get these little fine whisper cuts uh i dropped something oh yes i dropped this the other half of the ring where did it go Amen. Amen, Connie. I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, my mom's the same way. She doesn't like spicy food either. I just, I see people, you know, like, like, uh, you know, oh, it's delicious, waving their mouth and it's hot and it's like, it, no, that doesn't even make sense. Why you would... If you enjoyed the taste of something, you wouldn't make it hot, spicy hot. Robin says it wakes her up. She, she likes spicy food, and she said it like, you know, just gets her blood going. That's what she... Yeah, I, I don't like being warm. And, she said it makes her warm and toasty. I don't like being warm and toasty. Makes me want to go to sleep.
All right, there we go. So uh, let's switch cameras back over. So now I'm actually putting this one in here. In right, Mark? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your nose is running. You can't breathe. Su sweats rolling down your forehead. This is delicious. I love it. Yeah, not. It doesn't even make sense. So, okay. So I made this cavity a little bit deeper, so you can kind of see that's that's where it would normally sit. So I pushed it down in there, but. That's not, that's still a lot of threads, especially for like a lidded box. I'm, so I'm going to go down a little bit more. So basically half of this is going to be threads so that when I, we thread together, it's only a couple turns to get the lid off is, is the whole reason we're doing this is, is for a display piece. So I'm going to go down just a little bit more and I'm going to clean up that, that edge right there. Do I like pork belly? I don't know whether I like pork belly or not. Is it like pulled pork? Because I like pulled pork sandwiches. Is it like that? I don't know. Uh, I'm going to go a little bit more. Robin said she likes brisket. I like brisket. Not that I don't like food. I just don't want it to take a long time and burn my mouth. Robin makes ribs. We have ribs during the summer a lot. She barbecues them for like, I don't know, what is it, four hours outside on the barbecue? And they are delicious. I need to clean up a little bit, but I think that is, that is pretty good. Hey, Nita. All right. Have a good one. Sorry it took so long to turn the box. not like pulled pork then I I don't know whether I've ever had pork bellies or not oh maybe we did when when we were in Atlanta maybe yeah yeah we had a we didn't like some kind of southern platter thing when we were in Atlanta I think right Yeah, this is, so there's that white part of the wood right there, too. That is going to look good. Okay, that's all in there. I think I'm going to, I think it's a little bit too deep. So I'm going to gonna bring this down just a little bit. So if you do go in too deep, you can just adjust it by, by bringing that up just a little bit. But uh, it looks like it has maybe two turns on it. I want to give it just a little bit more. There we go. All 
All right. Now we are going to go ahead and set those in there real quick. And then we're gonna gonna figure out exactly where it's gonna go together like that. So I'm gonna take a pencil, turn the laser speed down, turn that on, run the pencil around it. So I know right where, where it's at. It's really close. All right, then we can just bring that down right to that uh, to that pencil line right there, and then they'll, they'll match up, match up. So in this one, we are just about like that. Okay. All right, Get, give me two seconds. I will be right back. I need to go look at something real quick. Hey, Robin, can you pull the picture up on the computer? Because I forgot what the lid looks like. <laughs> they can still hear. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so it's basically going to look like that, but we're just coming coming in from the top. So, but I don't want it too big. Yeah, she found a box she liked online, and I said, yeah, we can make it like that. And I forgot to look at the picture before we came on. So that right there is where the where the bottom of that is. So I need to make the the top of it just up here. Hey, Glenn, how you doing? All right, so I think that's actually, you know what, I'm gonna hit it with the parting tool real quick, just so I know where the, know where the top of it is. And, uh, and then I'll sand it. So we're gonna come in, make the top up in there. And we'll spin it around and turn that off here in a second, but I, I need to sand it real quick. And let me, let me check and make sure it is, it's a little bit proud. Let me take another pass off of that. Do, do, do. Hello, Arizona. How's it going, Ward? Uh, one more, just barely. Glenn, you you missed all our catch-up talk. We are, Glenn, we're we're doing well. Had a little bit of snow this morning. It was nice and a little bit of sun, a little bit of snow. All good. All good. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and sand it. Leave speed back down. One grit dry and then no oil. Yeah, we're 
Doing good. We're doing a display piece for the booth. We oh, did it. Craft show. Nice, nice. That's awesome. How'd the show go? Yeah, we had we just did one last weekend and had a great time. It was it was actually really nice. Yeah, we uh it was just about an hour and a hour and a half away, so we just drove the camper down there and you know, good walk take our puppy. We just walked outside when we were done, got in the camper, <laughs> went to bed, played Yahtzee and uh Rummy, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was it was nice. It's nice, you know, when they're close to where you can just got a ton of stuff. Yeah, it's it has been a crazy year. We we woke up to snow this morning, and yeah, we're just not uh, not used to it here. run through all the grits here do, 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 do. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to humming and singing See, I, I like the hum I'm turning mm -hmm. Robin hum she said she hums when she's cooking the steak. So we we've, we've gotten to the point or the age where we like split meals a lot of the times. So we buy these when we go to Costco for paper towels, we buy these steaks, and then we cook them, cut them in half. <laughs> for dinner and have steak and whatever broccoli or whatever it is oh wow that's awesome and uh that's awesome word and a hundred vendors that's that's nice good variety of different stuff too God, oh, it has too much snow to open. That is insane. Wow. That's crazy, Scott. Yeah, yeah, you guys have got hit hard down there. Well, I think Hood, Mount Hood and Bachelor and everything are, yeah, because uh, my boy said he was going to go up skiing. It's been a few weeks ago, but um, he, uh, they went up there and it was there was so much powder you couldn't ski. It was just like, so they can't even get up there to groom them. There's so much snow. But I, I think they're still open. They're open now. Well, that'll be good for this summer, though. Oh, that's nice, Ward. That is, that's a big plus, right? Seven hundred inches, no one counting. That that is awesome. You guys been hurting down there for a long time, as far as you know, drought. That that took care of it. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put this on there. We're gonna turn the top, and I, but I need to figure out exactly where it is. 
Do, 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 do. <laughs> no, 700 inch. That's, uh, that will fill up the reservoirs and keep them going, right? Yeah, because I think, I'm not exactly sure, but didn't we have to send them water or something the last couple of years or? Yeah, it was, it was bad. Yeah, we're up here in Oregon and our, our state, state flower or whatever, it's just rain, I think. It's rain, 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 and more rain. Yeah, it was seven, Robin looked it up, and she said it was 70 this day last year. But no, it's it's what keeps everything green, and that's what we like. Like green and no wildfires. All right. Skiing in July, nice. Yeah, Matt, I... I love mine too. <laughs> it's it's super nice. All right, so I'm right in there is the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and come in here and make this the top right in right in there somewhere. But I'm gonna cut in and just kind of dome it up just a teeny little bit. My crank the lathe speed up. Just about like that. Got Oop. Switch cameras here real quick. So because it is going to be a, a, a piece, a display piece for the show, I'm going to get rid of that sharp little edge right there because people are going to be picking it up and wanting to open it up all the time. And so I don't want that, that sharp edge there. Did I do anything to the chuck? Um, no, I I did have a problem a long time ago when they first came out with it, but it re Easywood has since they redesigned it. I haven't had any issues. I don't even I don't even put like WD forty or, or anything on it. If you do have a problem, I would I would give them a call and maybe it was it they some a suggestion they might have. Oh, it's much tar may maybe um yeah i ha I haven't even put uh like i said even w d forty or anything on it i it's just the way it way it came, and I believe they're like sealed, so I don't even know if putting anything on it would would help but i I would give them a call if it if it's uh like really tight, like too tight to turn turn with your hand. It, it shouldn't be that way. Wow, Scott, that's amazing, right? Yeah, I wonder how long it's been since you had to release release water during the winter. That's that's nuts. All 
All right. Come across there. I'll take one more pass there. Uh, Robin asked me if I was going to use the beading tool on the lip. I'm just going to soften it up. Just I'll just sand it just a little bit. It won't it won't be sharp. There we go. All right, we're almost done. Has it been two hours yet? Robin said so we're getting there. <laughs> yeah, I, I did. I thought it would take an hour. I don't know. I guess it's a little different because, like, when I just come out here and make a box, they, they usually take about an hour. But I guess talking and you know, like all that adds up, right? And then I'm making another lidded box tomorrow, but this one's for Robin. Oh, and I, Robin said I had to tell you why, or she wouldn't let me have the ketchup on the steak. <laughs> um, because somebody at the show wanted it, and wanted hers, and I, so it was her box, and she just took it to the show. I think maybe that w it was your fault then for taking it <laughs> and they wanted it so we we let them have it and I told her I would make her another one and then she made me promise like at the show when and I said okay Sunday we don't have anything going on Sunday and so she's already reminded me three times that I'm making a box tomorrow so I'm making a box tomorrow All right, Kristen, have a good one. All right, there we go. Now we got that done. Just go ahead and uh, send. Oh, the video was, was, all right. Is it just the video or is it audio too? No, I wonder what's going on. I'm going to start singing Gilligan's Island. Thank you, Matt. What? Yeah, right. <laughs> Robin said said thank you too, Matt. It took her two days to find the shape she wanted. We do a lot of searching on like Pinterest and just Google for, you know, all of it, just project ideas and and stuff like that. So we're always looking for. I don't even know if this one was a turned box. It was just a, you know, shape she liked. Yeah, we do that a lot too. It's, you know, it could be made out of pottery or glass or something and she, you know, just just has a nice shape to it. Oh, I love this wood. It's got that you can kind of see as it's spinning around, it's got that light spot and that matches the the base. It I'm not sure, like, you know, how it was lined up because it doesn't, that white spot isn't going to match the white spot because it didn't go all the way up and, and come through the rim. But, yeah, it must have, when I cut into it, I turned that part away. But it'll still look, look really cool with the two, the light and the dark together.
Oh, the video has been? Oh, okay. I don't know. I wonder what's going on. Yeah, Jake, I'll uh, whip it out. <laughs> Actually, it's a bigger one. It'd probably take me a little longer. All right, last one. Boom. There we go. All right. Get on. Oh. Ah! Dropped it. Hopefully the video buffered right there. <laughs> All right. I got it. It didn't. Didn't hurt it. All right, there we go. So it has a nice light spot right in there. And so what I'm going to do with this one is too, is, is I'm going to line the grain up, but I will do that later. I'll just, but I just wanted to show you that. So where'd the rings go? So the rings all the way down in there put them in that side so uh, which camera are we on let's switch cameras so that is what's going in the lid so it's going to be about half the threads so that is both pieces in there so it goes way down past the the center point there so that when you do it it'll be like three turns instead of six or seven to get it all the way to the bottom so it'll just be better for a small lidded box and there we go and we will get that all lined up on there and i'll get those glued in there all right all right let me get get some stuff out of the way hang on a sec All right. <laughs> All right. We got it done. There we go. And yeah, it's just I that is really cool. It's just some nice character. There's a lot of lot of nice burl in it and then those light spots just just make it pop. I love that. So we'll get it, get it glued on there. So what I'm going to do with, with the with the rings is too and I talked about that before is so you put a little bit of epoxy on, just push them together, thread it thread it all the way together and then thread it to where the grain lines up and then it's 5 minute epoxy it sets up pretty quick and then that way every time you put it on it's going to line the grain is going to line right back up with it so and there's like a, kind of a lighter burl spot right there you can kind of see so that all that when i get it all done will all line right back up but yeah so yeah we were we just needed a, a piece to show people if just by simply recessing it in there like that it will will solve the problem of uh too many threads on it all right if there's no more questions, oh, Gene. Well, I hope you're feeling better soon, and you can get back to the shop, play around. That'd be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. <laughs> You put, Mark, you put that on all your comments on the videos and it sends it to spam because it's a hashtag. So I have, we go in there and approve every one of them. <laughs> oh. Will this one, will this box be available? Kieran, it will, but only at the shows. So you're going to have, 
Yeah, it's just to show them how the rings burn. You need to come to Kentucky. <laughs> or SWAT. Yes, or SWAT. I don't know which one's closer. Is, is Waco closer to you than um, Lexington? Or uh, what is it? Louisville? Louisville or Louisville? We, should, we only got a couple of months. We need to figure out how to pronounce it. All right. All right, guys. I'm going to... Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I I can't I can't think of. Yeah, it was just basically to show you on the, the bronze rings how to how to recess it down. I can't think of anything else. All right. We will be back next week with a regular video on Friday. And uh, all right. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. All right. Take care.